Welcome to Profile Traders. This is Reza and you're listening to my market analysis for March the 16th. So yesterday we had the Federal Reserve meeting and we all heard that Yellen hiked the rates by a quarter of a percent. And on the top of that, she indicated that she may hike the rates another two times this year. And despite that, market didn't have the slightest care that possibly higher rates kicking in with an economy that is barely growing at 2% could slow down things. And instead, money poured in to the market like there is no tomorrow. And for most of yesterday, it was a big push to the upside, as you can witness in, on this tall and long profile. However, two things were happening as we were going up yesterday, which I mentioned to my trading room. Goldman Sachs, which is usually a leading indicator, was going negative two points. <clears throat> Amazon was not following at all. It was barely up. Apple was barely up. Google was barely up and the big names that are usually leaders were not participating but there was such a heavy manipulation from program buys that they did not care until we came up and hit the naked POC that we had from this session hanging around at exactly 23.86 and then as usual which is custom lately only in the last few minutes into the close we got a move to the downside then tonight or last night we came in and what we what was noticeable is that past the previous session high there was very very li little demand or appetite to buy it some more and we came and closed towards the middle of the overnight profile that was an indication that either <clears throat> we were going to reject down or either a retest of the high anywhere between 2387 and a half to 2389 and a half was going to fail but we opened and instead of going up we immediately rejected to the downside and after a little bit of game playing by the machines because what happened is that we pushed down half hour then the next half hour, which is the B letter, came out all the way to the top of A, cleaned up all the stops above the open, and then managed to come down, close the gap. And then the mo most of the afternoon was pretty much a waste of a time because it was a very unorderly back and forth. Of course, you have to add into the account that today and tomorrow is the week of option expirations, during option expirations usually you can have this kind of a back and forth tight, tight range but overall the price quality of ES lately has become extraordinarily mediocre so what could we expect from here what we could expect is that if we open later today and price is allowed to return back into the 2380 area or 2380 and a half area we definitely gonna go tackle these letters that are made of two sideway letters and then price should go up first towards the high of today 2384.75 and then if there is more momentum we are going to challenge 2387.5 to 2389.5 anytime that level breaks we are going to be above 2390 break up and we should then go challenge again the 2400 which we recently tried to reach and break and on the other hand if we can manage to cross through all this support build up and break the 2373 and a half we need to keep in mind that we do have a gap that is open from Tuesday with the open on Thursday that would close at 2363 and a half 
and then we also have a POC down there at 23.61 and a half. So it's either going to be a break above 23.80 and a half or a break below 23.70 and a half. Which one will it be? We have to wait and see and then take action upon those breaks. Now for crude oil, if we go back to what I discussed in the last report that I released which I'm going to show you on a daily chart I indicated that there was a lot of consolidation that was taking place up there and we were within a wide trading range going between 52 <clears throat> to 56 and I also stated that this rotation was looking bullish because the underlying leg pushing up was very impulsive to the upside and we rotated and rotated and rotated for days and weeks up there until finally a few days ago we came down and we did break this cardinal support of 52 which forced all those that were building up long position up there looking for a continuation up to be forced to liquidate and once that 52 broke down then this big candle up here was going to be tested and it was going the market was going to see what happened how serious the buyer was to have been able to push the market this much up in one session sure enough when 52 broke this buyer was nowhere to be found because most likely it was machine manipulation and the result is that we entirely deleted this whole move to the upside and this kind of things can happen very often when you have an abnormal activity in the market such as the one here that when price comes and tries to challenge it and it's not defended then the entire range is oftentimes retraced so now we did hit the 47 support until we remain above 47 obviously the big support is in we could definitely see some sort of a retracement of this leg down from 55 to 47 and in order to get more details we're going to shift to the profile to see a little bit more of a short-term details so we did close we did close at 48.77 dead center of the profile that is very much so balanced so for a break up to happen we need to clear 49 if we do clear 49, I'm expecting first upside objective of 49.38, second upside objective of 49.65. If on the other hand, we do break 48.44, I'm expecting a downside objective of 48.15. And if this breaks, a retest of this POC below at 47.58. So tomorrow, last day of the week, also last day of option expiration so let's see how everything goes otherwise if you have an opportunity to talk to mr trump tell him mr trump we are sick and tired of winning 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 please let this market breathe a little bit to the downside it's enough winning we can't handle it anymore so thank you for listening have a great trading day tomorrow Again, this was Reza with Profile Traders. If you wish to learn market profile, you can get all my five courses one year to my trading room for a $550 fee, 30 days money back guarantee. Thank you until the next time.